Whoa, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it like me Whoa, please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah Right guys, what's up? It's Jacob here and I've got another video for you. Another bodybuilding prep video. In this video, I'm going to briefly, concisely discuss the worst, mis the, 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 the worst mistake I made whilst on prep. And it came down to literally the final week. After six months, uh, the biggest mistake I made was in the final week. And it's a mistake that I'm going to discuss now and never do again. But it required some hindsight. Hindsight's 2020. So the biggest mistake I made was I was not ready before the show. I was not in the condition I needed to be a week before the show, which is what I would recommend anyone to do. Now, the method that you use to get down to that condition is going to be completely up to you. I mean, there is going to be an overall, uh, you know, balance of calories in versus calories out. Uh, those calories can be made up of all sorts of macronutrients. Obviously, the calories out can be made up of all sorts of, um, you know, modes of exercise. But what I found myself doing was binge eating and cheating in the last few weeks of my diet, which is only going to set yourself up for, a, for you know, mentally um, a very torturous and draining time. And that's what it was like for me, kind of, kind of. So... In the last week, or in the last couple of weeks, I, I did cheat on my diet quite a bit. I found myself at um, at a week out from the show. It's not much time to do anything, but I wasn't where I needed to be. I was holding water, and I knew, my coach knew, that the only way I was going to bring this down was to deplete of carbohydrates completely. And that's something I hadn't done um, the, entire, the entire time, the entire prep. So, uh, you know, I got through it. I got through it. You can get through it. You can get through times with no carbohydrates. You can still train with no carbohydrates. It's not going to feel the best, but you can do it. And that's what I did. So, you know, the biggest mistake I made was was putting myself, you know, putting myself in a position where I had to do that. So I got to the Friday. This is not the biggest mistake, actually. The biggest mistake was the fact that I was completely depleted. I was actually looking all right on the Friday, and I had one job and one job only and that job was to slowly ingest carbohydrates not too many and assess your body see how it's looking and don't spill over and don't start retaining water but all i had to do was eat all i had to do was eat carbohydrates clean carbohydrates minimal sodium in small amounts yes i ate the carbohydrates I even ate them without sodium, but I couldn't keep them in small amounts. Once I tasted sugar, I couldn't stop. I depleted myself so much during that last week, I couldn't stop, man. I went from a 50 gram carbohydrate ser serving in my first helping to 200 grams. I went from a, from a 50 gram carbohydrate serving in my second helping to like 150 grams. And before I knew it, I'd taken in 350 grams of carbs. And I was still just as hungry and it's at this point that you know even just waiting 24 hours until the show until you can eat is just too long <laughs> it was too long i couldn't control it i could not control it so my carbohydrate sources were clean but i ended up taking in 900 grams of carbs that day after such a drastic depletion and still not having um dehydrated my body as much as i probably could have I retained water. I retained water. Not much, but I certainly retained water. So, look, this, the biggest mistake I made was not getting ready in time. The second biggest mistake I made was not being able to control my carbohydrate intake. Taking in at least double what I should have. And in hindsight, about three or four days later, I found my third biggest mistake, which was the fact that I took in that 900 grams rather than 450. It was it was a calculated decision, even though I couldn't help but eat. It still was calculated in the fact that I thought that I probably needed 900 grams of carbs, you know, if they were put in the right places. 
Um, I didn't know how fast or how slow it took your body to shuttle um, carbohydrates into the right spaces, but it wasn't fast enough. It certainly wasn't fast enough. So I woke up that next day still looking flat and still feeling flat. And um, it didn't take, you know, and it, and it took until two or three days later for me to actually start feeling full. You know, start feeling that, 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 uh, that full tight feeling in your muscles without having even trained. And that did come. And that feeling would have been incredible to have that morning. Incredible. But it didn't come for two or three days later. So I'm, I'm led to believe that I need a good two or three days to fill up right. Um, I may need up to seven, eight, nine hundred grams of carbs per day to fill up right, but I, I'll do that when I'm in the condition that I need to be. You know what I mean? So there's a fair few mistakes made there. My peak week went from, you know, <laughs> from two weeks out thinking that my peak week would be great uh, to one week out, you know, it, 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 it wasn't so great, but we did get through it and I did end up competing after wanting to quit many times. And that is the main thing. Now I can sit here, a couple of weeks post show, talk about it, feeling quite content. It doesn't matter what mistakes I made, I still did it. I still got up there and I feel proud about that. So, you know, for anyone out there that's that's wanting a challenge, um, that might be out of shape, that does have a little bit of muscle mass or has an interest in bodybuilding, sign up for a show, man. Sign up for a show. Do it. Let me know about it. I'll be your biggest fan, I'm telling you. I'll be your biggest fan. So that's it guys, that is my quick video for the day. There's been a fair few bodybuilding related videos and I hope you guys have enjoyed them. You know, bodybuilding and nutrition are two of my, my passions and you'll, you'll continue to see that um, throughout this, this YouTube channel. So stay tuned, there's plenty more content to come. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.